share something with you today that I'm not thrilled about sharing. First, I want to apologize to the family and friends who are going to be hearing this for the first time with everybody um, and who are going to feel like I should have had the conversation with them directly. I can explain to you later why I didn't, but from the beginning of all this, I have been really shielding myself from any unnecessary stress and in fact, removing a lot of stress from my life. And that phrase, don't talk about it, be about it. That's been my life for um, almost two years. And honestly, there's nothing any of you um, could have done. So I apologize if you feel like I excluded you. Um, it wasn't personal. It was really just about what I needed. I am sharing this with you today because it's the beginning of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I have been fighting to get cancer out of my body for almost two years. For a really long time, I have refused mammograms. And that was a mistake. I watched my mom get mammogrammed for 30 years almost. And at the end of that, she had breast cancer. And I said, huh, radiation exposure for years, breast cancer. Yeah, I'm gonna pass, thanks anyway. I am stubborn, I'm gonna admit that up front. Those of you who know me know that's true. And I stand by that thinking. I stand by the research that shows that an accumulation of radiation in your body can cause cancer. And here comes the but. But what I didn't understand and what I need you to understand, the reason I'm here telling you my business is because I would have had probably three or four mammograms by the time they caught it. Instead, I've had to have two PET scans so far. Guess how many mammograms worth of radiation a PET scan is? Anyone? 30, 30, so 60 mammograms, you do the math. If I had done the mammograms from the time they were recommended when I turned 40, they would have caught the tumor in my breast years before I caught it through my own breast exam, self-exam and thermography. And they would have caught it at a place where it was more manageable, where the treatment of it would have been a little easier. It's never easy, but I use that word in comparison to what I'm going through now. Instead, what I'm dealing with is stage three breast cancer that is in my lymphs. I need you to get your mammograms. I have been doing 100% alternative and natural protocols and treatments, and I have helped uh, this particular condition not spread like wildfire through my body. That's good news but it's not gone and I still have a lot of work to do and I wish I could go back. <clears throat> I have a nine year old I need to be here for. I have no intention on leaving him. I don't want to leave any of my kids. I don't want to leave my friends, my family. Hell, I don't want to leave myself. I like being here. So listen, this is not <clears throat> how this was supposed to go, but I'm just going to keep it real with you like I always do. I need you to share this with the women in your life who may be as stubborn as I was about mammograms. And I need you to tell them that they have to do it. Early detection, especially for breast cancer, changes your outcome. It can save their life. This is way harder than I thought. I see why people keep it private. For me, it was important to come to you and admit where I went wrong with this um, because it could help you or someone you know. This is an ongoing journey for me, one that has been filled with whoo, so many things, different diets, different protocols, different energetic work to everything. I've done everything. I've done everything. I don't know how I'm going to share it with you yet, but I'm so relieved, you know, honestly, because now at least I can share with you some of this journey. I don't have to feel so muzzled. For me, alternative is still the best way. I stand by that. I believe in the power of my body. I believe in the intelligence of my body. I believe in my power and I believe in the power of my God. And all of that is going to help me. I believe it, I own it, it is real for me. And that's all that matters. Well, there's a couple other things that matter too, but you know what I'm saying? Like for the most part, that's what matters. And 
This will not steal my joy. That's one other thing I need you to really understand. I don't care what's going on in the world and we are living in a crazy freaking world right now. It's a shit show, for real. And none of it takes your power unless you give it away. Remember that. You are always in control of how you feel no matter what the environment and the circumstances seem to be doing in your life and in the world. Don't give that power away. It is everything. So can you be happy and be fighting to get cancer out of your body? Absolutely. It is your choice and it is your right as it is mine. In hindsight, right? Listen, I'm not even going to talk about hindsight. Hindsight is going to make me lose my dag on mine. Let's talk about right now. Right now, you have the opportunity to make a different choice. Call your doctor, call whoever the hell you need to call to get your mammogram scheduled and then show up for it and then do it because the consequences of not doing it, you don't want. Please trust me on that. Thank you so much for listening. And I really hope you heard me. Oh, and lastly, please don't be sorry for me. Don't be sorry this happened. Listen, one out of two women and one out of three men will experience some kind of cancer in their lifetime. This is not the journey for sorry. This is the journey for empowerment and love and high intention and good energy. So if you're gonna send me anything, only send me that from that list. You can pick anything on the, you know, all that stuff I just said. That's that stuff. I love you guys. Please help me spread the word. Get your mammograms. Take care of your girls.